hi dear friends how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber god bless you for your love your support everything that you do for me guys i appreciate much but if it is your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe youtube automatically is going to turn on that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever i upload a new video so don't forget to do that please please <laughs> so dear friends in our today's video i am going to be sharing with you this beautiful <laughs> social media success love story yeah of a ugandan lady by the name of ruth in her 30s who found love on social media with a guy from america yeah their love story is such a unique one it took them three years to meet and right now i know you're like three years bella <laughs> that's a lot of time why is that we are going to find out in this love story i know you who are following me on instagram you know this couple already <laughs> yeah because i posted them on my instagram and after posting them i got some comments and most of you were like bella we want to know how they met and i totally understand you know when you're on social media you come across a cute couple and she is a black woman you are a black woman you can't relate to yourself and be like how did she manage to get such a cute white guy? <laughs> I wish to know the tips and tricks that she used, even where she met that guy. Because I also want to find that white guy. Oh, I want to find true love, just like what I see here <laughs> on the post. Also, there is a comment I got, someone saying, we saw them on Facebook, someone saying, connected them to be together. Is it true, Bella? <laughs> we know this girl is your baby, so how comes? <laughs> and I'm like, don't worry, I am going to be sharing their love story on my channel. That is why we are here today. So you are going to enjoy a lot. You're going to learn lots, lots of things, especially if you are a single lady, you're searching for love out there, let it be on online dating apps, let it be on social media, you know, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, even in real life, <laughs> you are going to be helped after watching this video. There is a lot, guys. You goodies lovers, we will find out if they enjoy the goodies <laughs> on their first night. <laughs> I know you like that so, so much. So we're going to know that. Because they waited for each other for three good years. I know that exist ladies too that are in long distance relationships. And maybe you have been waiting for your partner for a very long period of time. You're at a point of giving up. Be like, no, maybe it will never happen. Maybe I am wasting my time. So by watching this video, you will get to know if you should keep on waiting for that guy or you should just block him and move forward. Keep searching for the right guy, a guy who deserves you, yeah. <laughs> so my dear friends, grab a glass of wine, a glass of water, a glass of juice, some popcorns, anything that will keep you company while enjoying this beautiful love story. So let's jump into it. So dear friends, I am going to be starting her love story with a bit of her past love relationship experience because if someone reached an extent of searching for love or putting herself out there on social media there is a reason to why when we look into her past and that is why <laughs> i'm taking you back to her past love relationship experience to know where she came from yeah so dear friends i asked ruth if she ever dated any ugandan guy before meeting the love of her life on social media and ruth was like bella yes i tried actually i had three failed relationships with ugandan guys and then she started with her first relationship 
with a Ugandan guy what happened. So it tells us met that Ugandan guy when she was at high school. They started dating, all was going super super good, but after some time things were not going on well and they decided just to go separate ways. They broke up and after breaking up tells us it's not that they were angry at each other or there were so much fights. No, actually they remained friends. So after that one failing, Ruth finished her high school and then went to campus. And at campus met this cute Muganda guy. <laughs> yeah, from Baganda tribe. This guy was super loving. He was so caring. He was a provider. Ruth was like, you know how Muganda guys can be super loving. <laughs> I know I can relate this because I started in Uganda, my high school, and I used to see those couples at school. Oh my God. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet <laughs> of our school. Yeah, it was super, super cute to see them. But for me, I never ever concentrated in dating while at high school. <laughs> I concentrated on books only. <laughs> yeah, so I could just admire from far so yeah was like that guy was super everything a woman can dream of so sometimes she could go to visit him you know at his place the relationship also took the next step whereby Ruth introduced the guy to her sister so they were crazily in love with each other but after some time, Ruth tells us that guy gave her the biggest heartbreak of her life. Yeah, because moved on with another lady and came to find out from friends. It was super, super bad. And the relationship lasted for two years. She cried a lot, tells us, spent three good months crying over that guy because really loved him so so much but if you're an african lady watching this and maybe you're from uganda <laughs> you won't be surprised of what you're hearing we know our brothers some of them not all so guys after that heartbreak ruth had to heal and kept on with her studies eventually graduated so after campus met another guy who was at the place whereby it was okay for her to date had healed from you know the heartbreak that that guy gave to her so met this cute ugandan guy a juicy one <laughs> they started dating and they were so happy you know to be together all was good that relationship lasted three years but in the course of them dating Ruth came to find out that that guy had a girlfriend. <laughs> Actually, what happened to Ruth happened to me too in the past. And I told you guys, I was dating a guy, all was good. And I could go visit this guy. I told you how I started imagining how to decorate his house. <laughs> ah, <laughs> thinking, oh, this will be my house, you know, when we get married. But that guy had a fiancé studying in another country that is why he was able to take me to his place but you know i started being curious i'm smart <laughs> looking into his things that is when i found that lady's things in his wardrobe so with ruth too found out that that ugandan guy had another girlfriend who was living in another city yeah but sometimes this girlfriend could come to visit doesn't know how this guy could arrange everything to look perfect for each of them but eventually he wasn't all that smart ruth found out and after finding out she was super super disappointed cried a lot and of course had to break up so after breaking up from him, kept on with her life. But after some time, this guy returned after one year, returned back to Ruth, begging for forgiveness and was like, I'm no longer with that lady. And Ruth tells us at that time was young and naive, believed him and had to get back with that guy. But in reality, that Ugandan guy was still 
dating the other girl. <laughs> so Ruth here is like that guy was a biggest cheater. <laughs> He was so good at cheating. So eventually when Ruth found out again that he is still with the other girl, told herself, no, you are not for me. So ended the relationship and moved forward. Yeah, but at that time was done, done with Ugandan men, was done, done with African men. Never wanted anything to do with them. And Tos, as always, wanted to date a white guy, but didn't know where to find that white guy. Never had friends that maybe have tried online dating or sisters, didn't have any clue about dating apps and dating sites but told herself, let me go on Instagram. So joined Instagram and that was 2019. So when she joined Instagram that 2019, cause was so interested in an interracial relationship, started following all interracial couples, <laughs> all interracial pages on Instagram and tells us cause Instagram, when you like something, they keep bringing more of the similar content. So they kept on suggesting lots of interracial accounts, interracial couples, you know, those people that says they connect. <laughs> but Ruth was like, I didn't have that courage to DM someone, tell her or tell him that connect me to a white guy. What I did, I just followed. So Ruth kept on scrolling, you know, reading people's comments, liking them on those interracial relationships pages on Instagram. Yeah. So Ruth tells us she will never forget this day. It was February 9th, 2019, when she was in one of an interracial relationship account on Instagram, <laughs> scrolling through the comments, reading people's comments after, you know, the photo was posted of an interracial couple and then saw this comment that really made a lot of sense to her of oh, this cute guy and at first she thought the guy was from the uk a british guy so she liked his comment and also sent a friend request because his account was private and also her account on instagram was private so after sending that request some time passed and tells us it's because of the hours difference because this guy wasn't even from the UK. The guy was an American guy. So that's why it took long for this guy to get back to her. But when he woke up, yes, so the like they put on his comment and also the friend request. Accepted that friend request and sent her a message. Hello, darling. How are you? <laughs> when Ruth read that I was like what i thought this guy was you know such a decent guy but it seems like he's like those online guys <laughs> on facebook especially <laughs> the indians most indians not all <laughs> who send you messages hello babe hi honey <laughs> sweetheart how are you doing without even knowing you so she was like oh so why is he calling me darling <laughs> he's just like those but anyways i will chat with him and see how it goes <laughs> so i'm taking a bit of a pause and then we continue <laughs> yeah so i've been getting this question from you guys asking me especially my babies because you know i chat with my babies almost every day <laughs> they reach out to me whenever they need me so i've been getting this question from them especially you find she is online searching then comes across a white guy and then this white guy <laughs> first messages is babe hi babe or hi darling hi honey <laughs> they're like but bella isn't this a red flag is this guy serious? Like, we just started chatting and he's calling me darling, honey. What do you think? <laughs> so I'm here to respond to you. You who are not my babies, but you follow me. I know you two had that question in mind. So I'm here to respond to it. What I always respond to my babies is keep chatting. Let's see what happens. Because exist countries 
whereby a word darling, a word honey, love, they use it so commonly. It's no more, you know, to call anyone honey, darling, love. Yeah. <laughs> Just like how you say hi, dear, but it's not that they mean it. You are the love of their life or you are their darling. <laughs> no, not like that. And one of the countries that I know is the UK. They use darling a lot. So if you meet a guy from UK, a British guy, you will hear lots of darlings, darlings, even before you create something concrete. So don't ignore that and be like, you are a red flag. You can't call me darling. <laughs> <laughs> no, keep observing because you darling, honey, love. Yes, stay on that alert mode, but give him a chance. Okay, dear beautiful ladies. <laughs> so let's continue with Ruthie's story. What happened after she was like, I'm going to give him the chance and see how it goes. So yeah, Ruth responds to him and is like, hello, then asked her, where are you from? Ruth was like, I am from Uganda. Then was like, please tell me more about yourself. But Ruth tells us, hates that. <laughs> Cause doesn't know how to even describe herself. It's the question that she hates the most here. Yeah. So told Matthew, come first, like tell yourself first. And Matthew told her, it's okay. If you are not interested in chatting with me, it's fine. But it's like they didn't understand each other at all. Then Ruth told him again, well, that describe yourself first and then I am going to describe myself. So that is when Matthew told her, I am driving to somewhere. When I reach there, I am going to respond to you. So guys, Ruth tells us it was late at night that day, had to sleep, slept. When she woke up in the morning, actually found his messages. Yeah, <laughs> was super, super happy. They started chatting, all was flowing. And that's when Ruth asked him, please, can we exchange WhatsApp numbers so that, you know, we get to talk more there. And Matthew told her, Ruth, I don't have WhatsApp, but I am going to download it right away. What did I tell you guys? I told you that yes, exist countries whereby it's not everyone that uses WhatsApp. But if a guy is really interested in you, they are going to download that WhatsApp. You know, it's not prohibited in his country. <laughs> so never believe those guys that tell you, oh, my phone does not support WhatsApp. Oh, my WhatsApp has got a problem. Oh, I don't have WhatsApp. We can only chat by email. We can only use a Skype. Never believe those. If a guy is interested in you, we'll use the way of communication that is comfortable for you as a woman, you know? So Matthew told her, I'm going to download it right away. And yes, he downloaded WhatsApp. Ruth gave him her numbers. So after downloading WhatsApp, had to text Ruth on WhatsApp. So Matthew sent a message to Ruth like, hi, I am Matthew. Please, can you send me the pictures that you had on Instagram so that I can confirm you are a real person? So here comes my beautiful ladies <laughs> who see a red flag in everything. <laughs> and a guy is like, please, can we exchange WhatsApp numbers so that you can make that video call to see if you are real, you are not fake. Immediately, why are you calling me fake? <laughs> Why are you saying that? You know, you guys get offended so easily. I know it's due to the challenges that you have been facing. It's due to the experience that you have heard on these dating sites. <laughs> White guys have shown you Pepe too. <laughs> so you're at the point where by everything you see, you're like, uh, is this real? <laughs> Why is he saying that? Why is he asking for a video call? Why is he saying if I am real or I am not real? But what you need to do if you come across such experience, you have to show yourself to the guy, you know, assure him, I am a real person, here I am. And that's what Ruth did. Had to send the photos that she had on Instagram 
to Matthew. And Matthew was like, oh, you're so good looking, so nice, so hot. Are you single? <laughs> then Ruth responded, was like, yes, I am single. So Ruth tells us everything was really going well. Even in his Instagram profile, had cute, cute photos, decent one, seemed like a family guy, because had photos with his parents, also had a photo with his cat. So Matthew gave Ruth such a good vibe, you know? And also, as they kept on communicating, the questions that Matthew was asking Ruth were the questions from a serious guy and was like Bella you always teach us you always tell us that you will notice a serious guy you will notice a quality guy just by the questions he will be asking you so Ruth here tells us Matthew was asking very very serious questions like are you willing to relocate and Ruth was like yes I am willing to relocate if I find true love. Another question that he asked Ruth was, will you go to the church with me? If we are together, then Ruth was like, yes, I can. And asked, are you a Christian? Ruth was like, yes, I am a Christian and I go to church. Adds that they started texting each other, not talking on a video call or voice call, no, just texting and Matthew can text long long paragraphs he's so good at writing so they started texting from 3 p.m ugandan time till midnight ugandan time <laughs> and if you are on the dating apps dating sites on social media wherever you are searching for love you meet a guy and then you start chatting for that first time your chats takes really long or you talk for so long that first time Notice that as a good sign because if you have been watching my videos here, you have seen the stories ladies tell. Ladies who have found love online, they tell you, Bella, when we started chatting that day, we chatted for five hours, we chatted for three hours, we chatted till midnight, we chatted till four in the morning, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and in the end, it's a success story. So when you notice that in a guy, if you are a Bella baby, run, come to me, talk to me so that we get to see how we can keep that guy. <laughs> yeah, I give you the tips and tricks. It's a good, good sign. So with Ruth too, it happened, guys. They chatted from 3 p.m. to midnight, Ugandan time, and I am here telling their success love story. So guys, to take you a little bit back about Matthew, Matthew had never been in a long distance relationship dated black girls yes in the past dated black girls so ruth tells us when they met matthew was 25 years old and ruth was 27 years old like i told you if you're going to date a guy that is young don't expect this guy to be super rich very few ones the rich kids you know come from rich families but majority of these guys white guys online on social media wherever you're going to find them you are chatting with a guy he is 35 years old 30 25 26 27 28 there and you expect this guy to be a house owner to own a very luxurious house or have a luxurious apartment or have a very expensive car have a very good job like everything in his life is settled no 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 don't expect that because at that age majority are even finding themselves in life they are hustling okay so when ruth met matthew matthew too it's not that he had that dream job or he was that financially stable hello the guy was only 25 years old so he saw ruth yes on instagram they started chatting saw her pictures she's such a beautiful lady and he was a single guy got attracted was super interested in her and yes some part of him really wanted things to work out with ruth 
but due to his financial situation at that time it was super difficult it is something he had never even imagined himself to do travel from america go to uganda <laughs> visit a lady and get married yeah this is the honest truth and because he had never done any long distance relationship kind of thing it scared him a lot but still was interested in Ruth. So they kept on communicating. All was going super, super good between them, but there were no concrete plans at all, at all. So dear friends, despite they didn't have any concrete plan of meeting, they kept on getting to know each other. And Ruth tells us there is no day that Matthew disappeared from her kept on writing to her, kept on talking to her, updating her on everything that he could do in his life. Ruth did the same. But as you know, long distance relationships are really tough. Yeah. <laughs> so at some point, it's like they gave up on that relationship and decided to go separate ways. So this happened in 2021. And I can totally understand. <laughs> I've been telling you, if you're going to date a guy for that long, anything can come between you. It is important you get to meet. And now with this, you're like, but Bella, they waited for each other for that long and eventually they were able to meet. It worked out. You can see how this case is special. Dear beautiful ladies, the guy was super, super young. You are not going to be chatting with a guy who is in his 40s, in his 50s, and still is telling you to wait for him for three years. <laughs> <laughs> don't believe it because at that age if a guy is serious does not want to waste time you know time is not waiting for him he wants to get married settle down if it is to have kids or one kid have that one kid and his life keeps on moving then keeping on chatting with a lady who is very very far away from him entertaining a long distance relationship no 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 and even if you're chatting with a guy who is young then i told you you have to reason yeah to what he is telling you if he's like wait for me why should i wait for you and then think well if it is really worth it so guys back to the story ruth tells us in 2021 before they broke up matthew had brought up the meeting topic but shortly after they talked of meeting they broke up so after breaking up it was towards the end of 2021 till towards the end of 2022 so dear friends i almost forgot to add this important information to the love story so that is why i decided to voice record if you don't see my face that's the reason to why <laughs> after this you'll get to see me again okay so i talked to ruth and she was like when they broke up towards the end of 2021 they stopped talking to each other everyone kept on with their life but ruth couldn't keep matthew out of her head kept on thinking about him and was like i wish it worked out i really miss him so 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 much so after quite a long period of time gained the courage to reach out to matthew tells us it's not how she is because had very very strong feelings towards him had to write him a message and was like hi matthew i really miss talking to you and on matthew's side because i asked him what really made you know that ruth is your wife to be you know she is the one and he was like when they stopped talking to each other one day he was from work very tired lied on the floor was thinking and decided to pray also prayed about ruth was like god if she is the one show me the sign and you can't believe it guys after matthew finished praying ruth's message came in telling matthew hi matthew how are you doing i really miss talking to you so when matthew saw that message was like wow god has answered my prayer and that's when he told himself 
she is a good woman she is a woman to marry she is the one yeah and yeah <laughs> the rest is history we are here now telling their success love story ruth advises you single ladies who are still searching for love that sometimes you can be chatting with a guy and in those early stages of you communicating you know you have not bonded all that much it's easy for a guy to slide out you know and decide to move on with his life people have got their own problems their own issues in life so yeah it's super super easy but when you see a guy is keeping quiet on you or he's like let's break up it's fine don't fight him don't start chasing him or start stalking him but once in a while you can just send that message to him you know to show that you care to show that he can count on you <laughs> no matter what but of course course if that guy is single and you are still single also pray about him i always tell you put your relationship in god's hands yeah because if you put your relationship in god's hands he will guide you through the right way so yeah they got back together and after getting back together matthew told ruth you know what now i've got the money for everything pay for whatever you need for you to be here to be with me and send her an invitation letter yeah and to make everything precise guys ruth tells us that invitation letter was sent july last year 2023 but their relationship kept on going super super good as you know matthew is a christian a very very good christian believes in god he's such a prayerful guy and also told ruth i think we need to start fasting together we can fast from friday morning to saturday morning and they could do that also sometimes in his lunch break would call Ruth and Ruth tells us at that time was not all that busy had her online business so had enough time he could call her and they could pray together in his lunch break wow so despite the prayers that Ruth could do with Matthew she could also pray on her own protect that relationship protect Matthew tell God Please God, let Matthew be the one. I see that he has got everything that I ever wanted in a man. I wanted a prayerful man. I wanted a man who is respectful. I wanted a man who is caring. I wanted a man who is generous. And Matthew is everything, Lord. So I put him under your protection. Amen. So we see everything was going super good. And I asked Ruth if Matthew was spoiling her in their long distance relationship ruth responded like bella yes not immediately that he started spoiling me but around 2021 especially the covid period he started spoiling me and could tell me if you need anything please let me know i am ready to help so started sending her money 100 euros you know 200 euros 300 500 Could tell her if you're online and then you come across a very cute dress or a very cute lingerie and you really like it so much tell me i'm going to send you money and you will buy it <laughs> every woman wants a guy like matthew trust me guys even if yes you have your money but hearing such kind of words from from you know a man who loves you it feels super super good <laughs> yeah. who doesn't like to be spoiled no one <laughs> yeah so he could send her money and tells us bella you can imagine a guy sending you nine hundred thousands ugandan shillings just for you to buy clothes yeah that's matthew <laughs> you are blessed girl <laughs> then we came to a very important thing that i always insist in every video that i share here the introduction so these people were chatting all was going well him spoiling her praying together and all that planning to meet did matthew introduce ruth to his family when they were still communicating the answer is no but matthew told ruth that he has talked to his brother 
about her and to his friends. Told them, I have a girlfriend. She is in Uganda and I am planning to meet her. That's it. Also on Ruthie's side, never ever introduced Matthew to anyone. Was like, I won't introduce this guy to anyone until I go to visit him or until he comes here. I see him, you know, with my own two eyes. That is when I'm going to introduce him. What do we learn, guys? If a guy is not introducing you on his side, all is going well between you, but that introduction thing is not happening and he tells you maybe I am not ready. Some guys will be open and tell you I am not ready to introduce you. Do the same. Not the guy is telling you I am not ready to introduce you to my family, but he tells you I want to see your family. I want to talk to your mother. I want to talk to your father. I want to tell them that I love you. Never accept. You first introduce me to your family or to your friends, I will do the same. It's very, very important, guys. If that guy really cares for you, cares for that relationship, and he means it when he says, I love you, I want to marry you, I want to have kids with you, then should introduce you to people that matters to him the most. The parents, the sisters, the brothers, <laughs> close friends. I'm telling you all this for you guys to learn, not to be like, oh, Ruth was chatting with Matthew for three years, never introduced her to anyone, but it was a success story. It did not go that way and you will get to know how it went. The introduction thing, which will really put a difference of a serious guy and of a guy who is not serious. You guys who watched Tika's love story, Paul went to Tanzania, met her parents the way he met them. You guys remember, he called the parents, you know, to the hotel to go meet him. <laughs> but he had never introduced Tika to anyone in his family. Tika didn't know anyone in Germany on Paul's side. But did Tika give the goodies? Yes, she shared the goodies. Did Tika introduce Paul to the parents? Yes, introduced him to the parents and even got pregnant for him. So right now, she doesn't have even anyone to contact in his family, you know, to tell them about the kid. No one, guys. So let us all follow online dating rules, okay? We go to another sensitive topic. <laughs> guys, I did a video here and I really don't know why don't you watch that video? Why? And some of you come on my Instagram to ask me same, same question. I tell you, pay the fee. We get to talk into details about this. Bella, I'm not in a position to do that. It's fine. Then watch the video. You don't want to watch the video, but still complain that I am ignoring your messages. It's not like that, guys. It's not like that. I put these videos here for you all guys to learn, even for my babies to also learn from these videos. So I did a video and I talked of when to talk about sex. Because guys, this is the truth. When you meet a guy online, you start chatting, what is your intention? <laughs> to be in a love relationship. You are not a brother and a sister, right? <laughs> but you can't just jump into sex talks in your first messages without even creating anything concrete between you. No, you can't do that. There is time for that. And that's why I did that video. So I had to ask Ruth, because you can see they chatted for a very long period of time. Three years, guys, actually three and a half. That's what Ruth told me. So I asked her, did Matthew ask to see any of your sexy photos, you know, new pictures, those online dates, sex kind of thing? Has he ever asked you something like that? And Ruth was honest, guys, very, very honest. And that's why we call this channel The Real Talk. Yeah, we only tell the truth, not lies. 
for us to learn when we are out there searching for love, we get to know what to do when we come across some situations. So Ruth said, yes, he asked and I shared. And what I want to tell you, Bella, I don't regret sharing, but it's not that he asked when we first started communicating, no. He asked at the time whereby we had really bonded, whereby I had so much trust in him, a hundred percent, that he is the one and it's only him, I want him. And I did that knowing that he will be the last man for me to share those photos with. Cause you know, there is that fear. Maybe in the past you came across such experience, you shared your photos. And in the end of the day, after getting your photos, they blocked you. So Ruth was like, this is the last guy I will share my end photos with. <laughs> and I don't regret it cause I shared them with the right guy, the guy that is going to be my husband, but advises you guys do not do that. It doesn't mean it went good for her. It will go good for you because it is a risky thing to do. The only thing that Ruth is advising you to do when you're chatting with a guy, all is flowing, all is good. And you see, he's such a good guy, a serious guy, a quality guy. <laughs> You can share sexy photos of you maybe wearing a very sexy dress because she also shares such kind of videos to Matthew, you know, to keep that relationship spicy. I think I advised you about this and even some of my babies, you know what we always talk about when a guy is about to visit or maybe it is his birthday. I tell you what you need to do, you know, to spice up things, to show the guy that you care, to show the guy that I am yours. <laughs> yeah, but this attention, you do all that to a guy that we are sure he is the one <laughs> with pictures online dating sex. I say no to that. Still, I say no, do not do it. But on Ruthie's side, that is her truth. But attention guys, again, on this, Matthew never asked anything weird from Ruth. He asked and she was okay to give, but it's not that he was like, send me this or our relationship is over, over. <laughs> when you hear such kind of a sentence from a guy, you just know that he is a loser and he is not the one. So guys, I know some of you are asking yourself, how did Bella came to know Ruth? Ruth found me on YouTube yeah it was at the time she was going through you know ups and down in her relationship and a long distance relationship was really tough on her <laughs> yeah so she was there wondering what she can do and one thing she had never thought to do is to date another guy or cheat on him or maybe go to the dating sites and start searching no because believed Matthew was her husband to be, but wanted to find out tips and tricks on how to make it work out, to keep herself strong, to keep herself inspired <laughs> and patient. So went on YouTube and typed how to overcome long distance relationship challenges, how to date white men, because Matthew was the first white guy for Ruth to date. So after typing that, YouTube brought my videos and she started watching, was super, super inspired. And every video I could share could hear me saying, guys, be patient. Guys, shine your eyes. Guys, keep on praying. So she kept on following what I could advise in my videos. And whenever she could watch those success stories, could be like, if this guy traveled all that far away to meet the love of her life, maybe in Uganda, in Tanzania, in Kenya, Zimbabwe, South Africa, even me, one day my Matthew will come for me, will come to meet me. So kept her hopes higher and tells you guys something that will really help you in your search or you are in a long distance relationship is to keep your hopes high. Keep believing it's gonna happen. Because at the end of the day, it's true, 
it will happen so that is how i came to know ruth then we connected on instagram the rest is history <laughs> yeah and guys i almost forgot she also talked of sticking to your original plan tells us or was telling me bella when i could watch your videos and you could say stick to your original plan that kept me moving i sticked to my original plan so you too who is watching this video you know your plan i've talked of this before you join online dating sites to search for any man of any color you have your own plan so stick to that plan you know don't be like ah this is not working out so right now i'm going to try maybe your original plan was only to find a black man <laughs> But you come on my channel, you see interracial couples and you'll be like, no, my original plan has changed. I want to date white guys. Oh, your original plan was to find a white guy, get married. But later you'll be like, no, I have changed my original plan. Let me go for black guys. I talked of this original plan into details when I shared Adalili's love story i told you guys you also need to think reason is this original plan the right one or not if it is the right one stick to it i've seen ladies not sticking to their original plans some of you are watching me but later things really go bad be like i wish i could have sticked to my original plan so ruth to stick to her original plan that is why today we are sharing her success love story so guys i told you that matthew sent an invitation letter to ruth in july 2023 wanted ruth to go visit him in america they asked for an appointment to the american embassy but the appointment they got was may 2024 so after matthew seeing that was like we have waited for so much and it's true guys they couldn't wait to see each other also matthew in his head because he had never done any long distance relationship or invited anyone thought maybe it takes a month or weeks and then she is in america but seeing the reality was like no way we have waited for each other for so long let me be the one to come first and then when you do your interview you pass you will come still so started planning for his trip to go visit ruth in uganda eventually to meet i'm taking a pause again so we see yes it took them three years to meet but you can see they were really united kept on communicating with her their communication was thick Mwah. and it's very very important in any relationship if there is no communication that relationship will never work or you're chatting with a guy he tells you i want to meet you i want to marry you and all that but some weeks he disappears and tells you i was in the village to visit my parents there is no network oh i can't chat with you this week my dad came to visit my sister came to visit like you see lots of red flags all together and still is telling you to wait for him for three years no but another thing it's not that these people never talked about meeting no they talked about meeting they talked of meeting then they broke up then got back together talked of meeting again and he sent an invitation letter so don't think it was just a relationship they were only chatting not talking of meeting and all of a sudden after three years Matthew's like i'm coming to see you no guys they really built their relationship and those plans of meeting were there. Let me hope you have understood because you are very easily to understand the wrong way and start giving examples. She waited for a guy for three years and it worked out. I'm going to wait even if it is five years. My sister, if you see all those red flags, the relationship is stagnant. It's not moving forward. <laughs> don't wait. Oh, don't wait. <laughs> I don't want to be part of it because later you will cry and be blaming me. <laughs> so guys, 
one day before Matthew travels to Uganda to meet Ruth, that is when he had to set his mother down and was like, you know what, mom, I've met this beautiful Ugandan lady that I'm so in love with and I am traveling to Uganda to meet her. Oh my God, it was a very big shock to his mother. She even got angry at him, was like, why did you keep it a secret? Why didn't you tell us? <laughs> Matthew was like, it is what it is and I'm traveling tomorrow. So yeah, he traveled and Ruth also organized herself, went to the airport to wait for him. Time came, Matthew came out. Oh my God, when Ruth saw him, was so happy, ran and hugged him, kissed him. They were so, so happy, guys, to eventually meet each other. And right at the airport after meeting, <laughs> Matthew took her phone and was like, is it okay if I save my mother's number onto your phone? She was like, it's fine. So he saved his mother's number on Ruthie's phone as mother-in-law and when he arrived at Ruthie's place had brought lots lots of gifts for her she was so happy to receive those gifts and then after that made a video call back home in America <laughs> yeah so in that video call his mother was there his father his brother and his brother's girlfriend yeah, they were happy to meet Ruth and that is when a formal introduction was done. The mother still was telling Matthew, why did you keep it a secret? <laughs> why didn't you tell us about her? So Ruth had to tell them, you know, we agreed not to tell our parents until we meet. Because even on my side, I haven't introduced him to my family, but now I am going to introduce him. So you see guys, this guy introduced Ruth to his family before he even enjoyed them the goodies. <laughs> before doing anything. And what does this tell us? It tells us that Matthew truly loved Ruth and he was serious with her. Not a guy that will come, take your goodies, lie to you, tell you, introduce me to your parents. I want to talk to them because I want to get married to you. But on his side, it's private. The parents calls. He's like, let me go out. I want to talk to my parents. And you're there thinking what he's telling you, that he will marry you, is true. It's not true. So the introduction was done guys and after they made that video call everyone was happy the parents were happy to see ruth and they told them that they support their relationship the next day too made another video call with matthew's mother and father they talked again and all was happy 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 so after that that is when ruth also introduced matthew to guardians because tells us doesn't have parents but had talked to her mother before her guardian a bit i uh, met this american guy just briefly <laughs> so when he came she talked to the mom and the mom organized a trip from the village to kampala at ruthie's place and that's when matthew met her guardians and her siblings yeah it went super good tells us her mother liked matthew very very much because he's such a loving caring guy ruth was like bella he's everything to me he is my world <laughs> i love him so so much and i'm always happy when i am sharing our love story so i have talked about the introduction now we go to the goodies <laughs> Did they enjoy the goodies that first night? <laughs> Ruth was like, Bella, when we were chatting, we agreed not to share the goodies till we get married. <laughs> but because we had waited for so long and we couldn't wait to meet each other, so when we finally met, we were like, what's the purpose of waiting? <laughs> so yes, they enjoyed the goodies that first night and it went super super good but tells you get to know a guy well trust him before you give your goodies first <laughs> 
So dear friends, when Matthew was one week in Uganda because his stay was only three weeks, was supposed to go back to work after three weeks in Uganda. But one week in Uganda, they talked with Ruth and they organized something like a photo shoot, you know, to make those cute, cute couples photos. <laughs> and yeah, Ruth prepared herself. He took her to go do her nails. All was okay. So the day came for them to do the photo shoot. And as the cameraman was taking them the photos, <laughs> that's when he knelt down and proposed on that photo shoot. Oh my God, she was super, super happy, said yes, looked at her ring, was shocked because it was a very beautiful engagement ring. I'm going to be putting their photos here so that you can see that ring. I remember posting it on my Instagram and everyone was like, oh my God, Bella, what a beautiful ring. It's true. Her engagement ring is really, really beautiful. So yeah, that is how he proposed. And after the proposal, they kept on enjoying each other's company and Matthew was super, super happy for the time he spent with Ruth. Then came her interview, you know, it was May. And to add something guys on her visa interview, when she was getting ready to go for her visa interview, got a very beautiful message from Matthew showing her that I care, showing her that I support you, showing her that we are in this together. Guys, I am going to be sharing with you that voice note that Matthew sent to Ruth when she was going for her visa interview so that you keep on differentiating a good guy, a serious guy, and a guy who is just playing games. Because some of these guys, yes, you will date. They will be like, yeah, I'm going to invite you. When it comes for you to prepare all the documents for you to apply for the visa, they don't support that. They be like, take care of that. I'm going to pay for the ticket like they don't want to be involved whereby you are supposed to be in that process together so enjoy that voice note because to be honest when i got to listen to it i was like wow girl you are blessed hey baby um i'm driving home from the gym right now um i am going home when i get home i'm gonna pray obviously i'm gonna start praying I'm going to get on my knees. I'm going to pray for us. I'm going to pray for you. I know that you're probably already in this em the embassy and you can't have your phone. And so you will not hear this until you get out. So I know this won't be necessarily a message of encouragement previous to, to you going to your interview. But I want to say this now before either of us know how it's going to turn out. Because I want you to understand that I mean every word of what I'm saying. And what I'm saying is completely from the heart and honest, regardless of what the outcome is. And that's Ruth, I love you. I love you so much. And I knew, I knew I wanted you and I knew that you were a good woman and I knew that I was attracted to you and I knew that you were sweet and amazing and, and I knew that you loved God and I knew all those things and I knew that I wanted you before I came to see you, obviously. Because I came with a ring. I knew I was asking you to be my wife. But I never in a million years, Ruth, imagined how much I could love somebody. I never in a million years imagined that I would I would be in love again. That I would I would feel so strongly and so deeply for somebody like the way I do for you. And Ruth, I love you so much. I love you so much, and I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I want to spend every day of my life with you. And no matter what happens with that interview, no matter what happens, we're going to find a way to be together. Without question, without without anything getting in the way, we're going to find a way to be together, okay? God is greater than our weaknesses. God is bigger than our struggles. Our biggest struggles are nothing but road bumps to Him. I love you, and no matter what, I want you to know that we're going to be together, okay? I don't want you to worry. I don't want you I don't want you to think that, you know, if, if the wrong thing happens, that you and I aren't going to be together, or that I don't want you, or anything like that. I love you. We've made it three years. Our relationship now is stronger than it's ever been. I feel closer to you and more connected to you than I've ever been. 
baby. We're going to make it through, okay? I love you so much. I'm on the way home right now. I'm, I'm, I'm actually hurrying home right now so I can get home and pray, baby. I love you so much. I love you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye, baby. So yes, she went, but unfortunately, it was not a success. So their next plan is to try again, maybe a different type of a visa. So guys, let us keep her in our prayers. Congratulations to you, Ruth, on your engagement. And we are praying for you that next time when you apply for your visa, you get it so that you can get to meet again your fiance and get to see his life of course the plan is to get married in future so everything is going very very well and yes she had the phone number of the mother-in-law and recently <laughs> got the phone numbers of the father-in-law so they always call her they pray with her they tell her we support you we can't wait to meet you even when she got denied the visa they were there for her telling her she shouldn't give up and she has all their support told her sweet sweet words that melted her heart so she has been welcomed into Matthew's family which is really really good because you know how family is important and it feels bad when a lady finds love and finds herself in a broken family or a guy finds love and found himself in a broken family on the lady's side but if you find yourself in a very very good family it feels good and it is something to tell god thank you so yes matthew and ruth still prays together they do everything together talk every single day tells us even when he left she was kind of like oh i don't know maybe he's gonna change but nothing has changed everything is going on smoothly he is still taking care of her you know spoiling her <laughs> oh my goodness i am very very happy for her so guys that was their beautiful love story so ruth gave her advice to ladies that are in a long distance relationship and to single ladies started with those in long distance relationships was like you have to be extra patient also if you are to wait for a guy or if you are to be patient be patient for a guy that is the right one don't wait on a guy that is not the right one second pray 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 because it is only god that will help you in your long distance relationship it is only god that will make that relationship work so put everything under his protection and another thing that matthew did when he arrived inside ruthie's apartment carried her to bed not to take the goodies <laughs> ruth tells us not to pray prayed to god and asked to god for ruth to be a wife wow i really love how this couple included god in their relationship and still includes god because he is everything guys so her advice to single ladies tells us <laughs> she has that strong love towards single women because has been single too for so long she knows how it feels so it was like you shouldn't give up at all at all even if she was the one single now yes could have joined online dating apps and could have searched without giving up because good guys still exist you just need to pray shine your eyes stick to your original plan if it happened for ruth ruth found love on instagram why not you you too you will find love if ruth found that white man that she always wanted you too you will find that white man though yes tells us in africa you know ruth isn't tiny and people could discourage her be like you want a white guy <laughs> you're not tiny you're light-skinned you know white guys like tiny ladies tall dark-skinned and you are not that <laughs> you are curvy you're light-skinned you're not tall you have no chance but when god says yes 
no one can say no so no matter your looks no matter your situation you will eventually find that right guy just keep on hoping keep your hopes higher yeah so dear friends we have reached an end of our today's video thank you so much for your support thank you to watch till now may god bless you if you have liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super super good comment below what you think about this video i would like to know if you haven't subscribed let me ask you a question what are you still waiting for <laughs> join the family please please and thank you for subscribing until next time guys i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah.